Welcome back to my second YouTube video on my Fishing with Rob YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be going through this tackle backpack right here. Hope you enjoy. By the way, before I get started, I wanted to say that I do plan on doing actual fishing videos, but I don't have a GoPro yet. But I'm getting one, so be on the lookout for that. Okay, so to get started here, this is the big compartment where I have all the stuff in. And this right here, got some glasses, some sunglasses. Put those back in there. You know, you gotta have that mystery tackle box sticker on there too. Probably should have put it in a different spot, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so big compartment here. Boom. First we got some paper. Oh. Okay. Now, I think I'm gonna start with this stuff up here. This stuff is just uh, stuff that I haven't opened yet. But uh, let's get started. So, I have this uh, Vexan Deep Thud Phantom Crankbait. All that stuff over there. Here we have some big bite baits. The uh, some cross. I actually got this in that mystery tackle box that I posted on my Instagram. Check me out on Instagram, fishing with Rob. Second thing here, I got this also with the mystery tackle box. It is a amazing spinner bait. The Carl's, sorry, Carl's. Amazing spinner bait. Get it right. Next thing. Oh, I also got this from Mystery Chat Box. Some Pro Zone Series Lures. They are watermelon red worms. Pretty self explanatory. Oh, I got this today too. I opened it up in the car. It is a Strike King Red Eyed Shad. Hope to catch a big chunky boy on this one. We got some Eagle Claw Split Shots. A hundred. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Got some Eagle Claw size 8 hooks. We got some Zoom Super Fluke Junior. These are in white pearl. These are pretty good. They're supposed to act like minnows. And oh yeah, these are good. I have these as jig trailers. These are. Uh, Easy Shiner 4 inch Kiai Tech. Uh, they're swim baits. I use it as a trailer for my jig. And I got some hooks that I got from the Mystery Tackle Box. This is pretty good. I like these hooks. Ow, just stuck myself. Well, I got a crankbait that shouldn't be in there, but. This is a crankbait. It's pretty. I'll put that back in this bad boy after. Oh, same thing with these. We got a frog that appears to be broken. A fluke that I gotta throw out. And probably a worm that I gotta throw out. Yeah. All right, so I'll throw that stuff out in a minute. Here we got some Panther Martin Silver Blade. I haven't used that. That's cool. Um, oh, this is an orange worm that I should probably put in here too. Oh yeah, you like a lot of crap in here. Here we got some Zoom uh, Trick Worm. This is in Gooseberry. This is a big pack. I don't open up the packs because then the things get um, 
they get old quick. We have a fluke here that I should probably put in the bag, same with the other ones. We got some Zoom watermelon lizards. This is actually what I caught my first bass on. Um, over on a dock, actually. I caught my first bass. Uh, actually, no, not my first bass. My second bass. My first bass on the boat, though. Yeah, I got a little John boat. Here we got some size four snails, eagle claw. Uh, we got this thing. I don't know what this is, but it's in there. So that's cool. So I'll put it over in the pile. Oh, here we have another jig. I brought two. I bought two jigs in case I lost one of them. This actually, this jig right here, goes with this trailer. Looks pretty nice. So this is a Terminator. So yeah. Okay, next thing. I'm trying to prick myself here. A lot of stuff in here. We got some size two hooks. Then we got a size eight hook again. Eagle claw snails. We got some eagle claw <clears throat> quarter ounce sliding bullet weights for Texas rigs and stuff. And probably before I get my GoPro, it's probably gonna be a while because I gotta convince dad. I'll probably do some like how to videos and stuff, like reading stuff. But uh, yeah. Then we got a bag of soft plastics that I don't use. That's cool. Oop. Those are probably in my bag somewhere. Let's see, what are these? Here's we have a worm that seems to be broken. So I'll be thrown out. We got some, we got a little pack of mm, sliding, uh, or not sliding, we got some, what are these called? Split shots. Another pack of split shots. Another pack of split shots. Let's see, what else we got in here? Some swivels. Bobber. Anything else? Nope. Alright. Now yeah, that that's cleared out, let's do these right here. So this came with the bag. This is like a samurai, I think. Costed like $70 at my uh, dicks up the block. So in my first container here, I got some uh, weights down here. I got a couple rooster tails and some smaller hooks that shouldn't be there. I got some, I got a little crankbait. Um, this, this is a little crankbait. And this is uh, something, I forgot what that was, probably another crankbait or something. Here we got some soft plastic. The soft plastics that I haven't used. We got some medium hooks here, medium jig heads. Mm, yeah, medium jig heads. Large jig heads right here, and small jig heads right here. Then I got jigs with soft plastic bodies on here. And then I have other stuff in this one soft plastic ones that are bigger soft plastic ones that don't have hooks on them so that's cool i guess and i have some hooks right here uh so that's cool i guess and i got like two minnows i have a bigger minnow 
and then a smaller minnow. So that's it for this one. Second box, here we go. And this box right here, I've got, I'll put this bob right here because it fits. All right, so I have a, a whopper plopper here. And then I have a bigger one of that little thing I had in here. Right here. And then I have this spinner bait. I have a couple spinner baits. I haven't used them because my spot that I usually go to has a lot of pads and grass and stuff. So this stuff is kind of a pain in the neck. And I got some white curly tail grubs here that I don't really use, but I have them. Ugh, that's so pretty. Bobbers, two ounce pyramid sinkers for when I go like catfishing and stuff. And then I got some bigger soft plastics too, like some more worms, another minnow, some grubs, and this little dude right here too, with one eye. Some uh, big hooks, kind of like uh, these right here. Uh, that's what's in there pretty much. And then I got frogs in here. So I'd say I got some, I got a pretty decent amount of stuff. Um, I, uh, why is, why is this not closing? What? Oh, there's a bopper. There we go. Okay. And then, I don't think I have anything in the third one. No. Okay. Let's just switch up a little bit. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna pop these back in here. Nice. And then in my big compartment, I have a scale, some trash that I need to throw out, a Guggen. Uh, craw. It's getting kind of old. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so here's my scale. And it's El Rapala. I got it in $25. It max is 25 pounds. Another craw here. Uh, this is a watermelon worm from earlier. Uh, and then I got a some toenail clippers that are good for cutting the line. All right, and in this side pocket here, I got some tweezers, pliers, whatever you want to call them. Then I got some tape and a little knife and a little screwdriver head. And that's all in that one. And this side right here, I got some line, some 20 pound monofilament, uh, one of those things that I'm not going to take it out because it's a lot of work, but you hook it to the gill and then you tie it around something so your fish don't go away. And then I got some power bait in there that's really old. It probably is all stuck together. It doesn't even work anymore. And then in the big compartment up here, I usually just stick food and stuff in there and water, bug spray, stuff like that. Hi guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video of me going through all of my stuff in my tackle box, tackle bag. I plan on doing actual fishing videos shortly in the future, till my, uh, but um, until my GoPro comes, I can't do anything about that. So I'll probably do some like how-to videos or whatever in the meantime. But hope and hope you enjoy the video. Remember to subscribe. I don't really care if you like, but subscribe. Bye.